Hello everyone, I'm in Kumar. As many of you have heard, Sons of the Forest comes out two days time. At least the time of this recording, two days time. You know, as a forest enthusiast myself, very excited. Like many of us, very excited. We've been waiting such a long time for this game. It's finally going to come out in two days, a bunch of delays. But they released a trailer today. And I wanted to review it for the video. Give it a look. Give it a breakdown. See what else we can see. Where we didn't see initially. just saw in that clip the building system has changed a lot from the first game and I'm honestly curious to see how it's gonna turn out once I get in the game when I saw this scene at first you know I didn't really care too much about it I was just like whatever but I look closely at the armor and I compared it to the other outfits of the players I noticed that you know maybe there'll be like some sort of end game armor that we can find I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I was like, okay, the crafting system changed. That looks pretty sick. So that's just my thought on that. It's awesome crafting system so far. I think out of the whole video, this is the part where I looked at the most because I noticed the way he falls, new physics system, new ragdoll system. No, me personally, I love ragdolls. So I'm very excited to see what kind of crazy clips we can get with these funny new ragdolls that they brought us. Cool little detail I noticed about the baton. It has this little battery icon. It shows us how much battery we have. You know? Just thought it was a cool little detail. That wasn't a lot to unpack in that clip there, but to start off first, the new traps. You know, the traps still look the same, if anything, they look smaller. And the new mutants and the new cannibals, you know, I love their design so far. Look at these horrific look creatures, just disgusting. And next up, the shotgun, you know. The shotgun, when I first saw this thing, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna be blasting these cannibals. They're not gonna see anything coming. And as you see, the other mutant that we saw climbing on top, he was there too. It seems like he's not just in the caves, but he could come outside the caves as well. And of course, if you missed this tiny little important detail, you know the sharks. Looks like there's going to be in the caves. I don't know, maybe they're going to attack us from the last game. There were sharks, but only on the shore, dead. So, good to see the sharks are coming back. So it looks like we need a gauntlet now to open the end. It's like a little gauntlet. In the last game, as you remember, you use a card and you did some puzzles to get to it. You know, you need a bunch of items to get to the, the end of the game to save your son eventually. But I'm guessing after you open that door, you probably face the boss that they showed us in the last trailer. In the last trailer, they showed us a bunch of things like the three-legged lady. Oh, I'm still not sure what that is. Some people are indicating it's a some sort of AI companion that might help you. Uh, me personally, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a second character someone else can play. I wouldn't be too sure because the game isn't out yet, of course. But 
hopefully Thursday, nothing goes wrong, everything goes right, everything goes ahead, releases, because I will be uploading a video as soon as this game drops. Expect it, be there, or be squared. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, I will release a whole series on this game. I'll explain to you all that thing. You know, quick little shout out to Mad Vlad. You know, the king, the king of the forest. Honestly, to me, king of the forest. Quick little thing. You know, he introduced me to this game. I love this game for a while already. Thanks to him. So quick little shout out to the king himself, Mad Vlad. Going back to that last clip though. I forgot to talk about the new gore system, the new gore system honestly is the most exciting part of this whole game release. Besides the whole game itself, but the new gore system, I'm excited to see what comes and what shreds I can rip these cannibals to. If that sounds a little weird, I've just always loved physics engines, gore, killing floor, all that stuff. You know? I love it. If you guys did not see the last trailer, you know, here's the trailer really quick if you guys missed anything. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments of this new physics system, this new gore system, just everything, new enemies and new mutants. Let me know everything you guys think, because soon enough, we'll find out. Two more days, two more days, that's all it is, two more days. But as you saw in this clip right here, you know, there's a new intimidation system almost. Before you put up the totems or little, little sacrificial little totem things, or you put all the limbs on the cannibals you put all the limbs there right but good to see that they put a whole feature just dedicated to that because i don't know if the totems work last time you know i used to put them up if anything i only noticed more spawn rates i don't know if i actually did anything never searched it up but good to see that that's actually a feature now that works and you can see visually it works of course i did not forget our little friend from the first trailer the toothy creature thing i don't know what to call it let's call him toothy toothy tooth or toothless i don't know you know in the last game we had cowman armsy was it virginia and then the little tentacle thing you know that rebuilt itself this game we're gonna have the two torso creature toothy man and then you know i guess our companion could be considered a mutant too but maybe there's some mutants we aren't seeing in this trailer so I'm definitely excited to see if there's any secret little mutants we'll find along playing. I'm definitely curious if we will get raided in this game. Because if you remember in the first game, there was raids. Occasionally you'd wake up, there'd be an intense sound effect. And then you'd wake up to, I don't know, three arms, these two cowmen, and a whole horde of cannibals. So I'm definitely excited to see if they'll implement that little raid system. Because honestly, I love just waking up someday. Just having an attack on my base to test the resilience and all of my hard work. Test my skill, of course. So, 
That being said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's different from my usual videos, but I just had to talk about this game because I can't wait to record. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.